Okay, we have the Ozark Trail four person dome tent. We are going to be setting it up and I'm gonna be showing you brand new tent. The uh, footpath it takes is eight foot by eight foot, six inches. The center height is four foot, two inches. It can fit one queen air mattress. You can see it says weather tested, e-port, media pocket, hook and loop cord organization. And again, four person dome tent and large dome design provides additional headroom, large storage locker with zippered access from inside and outside. Seam taped rain fly protects from water and ideal for backpacking. So let's open it up and put it together. Here is what was in package, literally just the um, bag of poles, the tent itself. So within the tent, you have the rain fly, the tent stakes, and then the two little, um, I think this is like a pocket, because it has like plastic on this side. That goes on the top to put belongings, and then the tent stakes, although usually people buy um, better tent stakes, because look at these tent stakes. I mean, and then it has the string. I think that's probably for the rain fly. Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight standard uh, tent stakes. And there are instructions right inside the bag, actually sewn to the actual bag. And it even gives you pictures, although it is pretty self-explanatory. Um, but yeah, if you need the instructions, can't lose them. Okay, so see, you have like a little um, light tarp attached to the front of the actual tent. And then there's like a little spot where you put a stake. But look at this. Look how it, it just kind of angles in to nothing. I thought that it was like defective. Like, why would it be angled like that? I mean, ignore, this is the tarp we bought separately, but you see that? Why is it like that? And like I said, I thought it was defective, but when I look on the actual tent, that's what it is. It's like nothing when it goes out. I mean, I get that the door is just right here, but that's very small. You can put like one or two pairs of shoes there. <laughs> okay, so we have the little E pocket here you know where if you actually have electricity at your campsite you can put the cord out there we have the mesh and then the door we're gonna go inside too this is a, like a shoe pocket I'll show you when it's all put together too look at this you have the whole top is just screen so good airflow, I would assume. At least the fly has a little tag that says front. Okay, so for the four corners of the rain fly, you could see it's kind of just, you know, tied on there. And then you put these underneath the poles here. To me, it just seems like this <laughs> isn't made too thick. I don't really know that much about camping, but if it, I don't know, if it's really windy, is that gonna hold up? I don't know, maybe it does. Look at this part of the rain fly. I think this is nice because we always just put up the rain fly just in case. 
but you can see how you can unzipper it. Let me show you. Okay, so here is the back of the rain fly with the open um, air, and that's nice because they have a little tie with these little hooks here on both sides. So that's definitely nice for ventilation because as you probably know, it can get sweltering hot in a tent real quick. We didn't put the stakes in all the way. Um, but you get the point. I really like, I know I said this already, but I really like that we can have this open. But you can see that um, there's two, one strap on this side, one on the other side, or a string I should say that gets connected to the, um, the stake. Okay, so here we are inside. We have the pocket there. Hey buddy. We have a pocket over here. And then we have the top oh. pocket. You can kneel comfortably, or if you have a real, real little one, they can stand comfortably. Um, okay, so now, for four people being in here, right? Because this is more like, I guess, kind of a two-person tent, but it was super cheap. It was a 29, or I'm sorry, 39.99. So, we figured out if four people are actually gonna be in here, we lay this way. So here is the front door. So heads are gonna go up here, so basically in the back, and then feet are gonna go down here. Basically how he's laying, but four people. So I thought like an adult on each end and then the kids in the middle, and if you don't bring anything else in except like sleeping bags, blankets, whatever, and maybe a fan, a bottle of water. Okay, now let me show you what it looks like with our whole setup. Okay, and this is our little setup in the tent. And four people really do fit in it amazingly. Okay, so there's my two kids over there. We have two bags down here, tons of blankets, four pillows. Ignore the fact that we don't have pillowcases on them at the moment. But I am laying on the side and you can see there is plenty of room for another person. So four people really do fit in comfortably. Um, we even had some bags over here, stuffed animal, little lantern. So some stuff really did fit. Okay, so we also had a little hanging light that this offers. You can hang something from up there. Um, the only comment I will give about this tent, if you're staying somewhere that gets real cold at night, you're not gonna want this tent because you can see it's basically mesh just partly up the wall and the whole thing is mesh, you see? To over there, behind. This unzips from the other side. But look at all of that. And then you can even see out, you know? So thankfully it was in the, only the 60s for us. So it was pretty warm. My kids were in long sleeve, long pants and they were warm. And my, my son who's four always says he's cold, he's cold. And he was not cold again in this tent with long pants, long shirt, long sleeve shirt. And then, um, two blankets. Didn't even have a sleeping blanket. So it was nice for that. But yeah, if it's rainy or cold or super windy, it's probably going to be really, really cold the tent. So yeah, this is our little view out the uh, window. It was really nice. Okay. So we are back home and final thoughts on the tent. Pretty decent. Um, I think that it's good, a good cheap small tent if you're going to be staying in not super cold temperatures. And it was a good family tent. Uh, two things though. Number one, you know how on the back of this rain fly here, how I said it was nice that it unzips. It is nice that it unzips. However, our five year old camper neighbor who was playing with my kids and wanted to know where they were. When we got back one day, he was like, I was really looking for you guys. So I unzipped that and looked and you weren't in there. So, I mean, of course, anybody can unzip any tent, right? But he didn't unzip the door. I guess unzipping the door is a no-no. He unzipped, like he went behind and unzipped that and seen we weren't in there. So 
whatever that is what it is um and then these do you see these little um strings that go on both sides so my kids and then the five-year-old neighbor neighboring camper they were just playing running around the tent and you know how many times one of them tripped over this so of course i say don't go back there but of course they go back there anyways and um just keep that in mind if you have little ones that like to run around the tent they'll probably trip over this so other than that like i think this tent's pretty good especially for the price um, especially because we weren't camping in super cold temperatures so that is the ozark trail four person dome tent thanks for watching please share the video give it a like